Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and welcome back to 2K18. We're finally back playing some basketball here on my channel. It's been a while since I've been playing NBA. Unfortunately, we've had some internet issues at this place that I've just moved into in the UK. So I haven't been able to play sort of my usual schedule of games each week. But it's all fixed now so we can get back onto 2K and NHL 18 as well as a brand new series that I'll be posting sooner rather than later which will be MLB Live The Show 18. So for any baseball gaming fans out there definitely stay tuned for that. But today we're here on 2K18 and we're going up against the Brooklyn Nets. So without any further ado we'll jump straight back into this one. And hopefully we'll get another win on the season. Now we are a blah, we are out of the playoffs spots right now. I just checked the uh, the standings, and we need to basically be above 50%. So you can see there we're three games behind, uh, but we do have nine games left, and we've got a couple of games in hand over the teams in front of us. So although we are out of the playoff picture right now. We do have an opportunity to get back in it. We just need to make sure we win these last, or win at least seven out of the nine games ahead of us. All right, let's get going. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Welcome to 2K Sports. I'm your host, Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here, and so is the big diesel, Shaquille O'Neal. The fans are filling the seats in Orlando, the site of our broadcast, and where the magic will be going up against the Brooklyn Nets. Looking at the Nets, two games into the season series against this team, they're tied at a game apiece, looking to grab the edge tonight. And here we are late in the season. Shaq, for the teams at the very bottom of the standings. There can be a tendency to give up on yourself and a desire to dial things back, I guess. Pack it in. This happens, doesn't it? Yeah, it happens, but no great coach would stand for that. No, we're great players. You just got to, you know, dig yourself out the hole, Ernie. You got to keep fighting. You know what well, they should do? What's that? Go watch Hoosiers. Ooh. The Gene Hackman speech should get them going. Okay, you think that would work on an NBA player? I think it would. Pick a fence, baby. Pick a fence. Sometime. You just can't give that all out intensity because you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel. You can only see the light right in front of your face. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you got to give those bench guys some more minutes at this time. Let's send it down to Kevin Harlan. Coming at you from the beautiful Amway Center in downtown Orlando, Florida, home of the Magic. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Greg Anthony as well as Doris Burke. And we've got David Aldridge on the sideline. This is the first game in the Nets road trip. And at sixth place in the East, they're a team that's not quite in that top tier, but when they put it together, watch out. And seeing where the Nets are, they've had a tremendous year. There were a lot of people waiting for them to take that tumble late in the season. Well, those people might be waiting for a little while longer. Or maybe a lot longer. They look to me like they're ready to make some serious noise in the playoffs. And let's go straight over to David Aldridge for a report before the tip-off. Hey, Dave. Well, guys, DeAndre Jordan shoots with his left hand, but he bowls with his right. He throws with his right, and he finishes with his right around the rim. But he insists he's left-handed. He said, I tried to shoot with my right hand, and it was pretty much the same, maybe worse. I'm going to stick with the left because I've been practicing that for a while. Kevin? Interesting strategy, D.A., thank you. Jordan shoots a high percentage from the field. You can't fault him for using that logic. And a couple of big-time pivots going head-to-head -to -head tonight. Doris looking at the NBA right now. How has that center position evolved on both ends of the floor? Well, it seems to me that increasingly, unless you're a shot maker from the perimeter, you can't find time on an NBA floor. So certainly they've become more perimeter-oriented. The ability to at least make a mid-range jump shot helps the spacing on the floor. And then obviously... All righty, here we go. Kevin. The more valuable you Time are, Time to push for the playoffs. On, can you switch and pick Everything and roll situations, now. guard a variety of positions, say three, four, five, and if necessary, in an absolute pickle, can you stay with a guard if you've got to oh. switch a pick and roll oh, between get the big rebound. and small? So the next starting five, 
They've got Trevor Booker. Jeremy Lin is out there with D'Angelo Russell. Then there's DeAndre Jordan. And it's Hollis Jefferson in at the three spot. Get that. Come on. The shots yes. get from Fournier. Second time lucky. There's a chance he could go for a big game if they don't D him up on the perimeter. Russell against Peyton. Russell dishes to Jordan. Nice ball movement so by So today we've got DeAndre Jordan and this man, There's Jeremy Lin, to we'll look out the for clock. there. From the baseline. And it's Russell yes. missing. And for Brooklyn, they picked up the W against Cleveland. To the yeah, rim. Unfortunately for them, and I'm one. The opponent's defense Couldn't have asked for a better start. Up. I mean, you have to question their effort, Greg. They did a great job of penetrating and kicking out. The defense simply wasn't uh, up it. to the task. Orlando shooting awesome their first free throw of the game right. right now. And taking a look at the numbers on the season, they've converted about 77% of those foul shots. Oh, and Vooch hit this one. Free throw drops yes. for Vucevic. And, and over the course of the Nets franchise history, some interesting decisions. I mean, back in the 90s, they came very close to changing the team name to the uh, Swamp Dragons. Uh, I think I'm just going to leave that one right there. Nice. Peyton with the ball. He's averaging around five and a half steal. points a game. Picked by Vucevic. Peyton attacking. Battles through traffic oh, what and a, it in. How did he get Peyton's that through? Got his first bucket of the night. So Greg, Man, how these guys are on form the Nets under to the paint the tonight. Swamp oh, yeah. Dragons anyway. <laughs> in the well, finish, too. It needed a unanimous vote of all the teams to yes. change it. But there was one vote against them. The, the Nets themselves voted against the change. And they had seven owners who rotated voting duties. And... The one on deck got cold feet. Now here's Peyton after D'Angelo Russell's miss. Peyton to the rim. Too easy. Good. Ten point Peyton's lead. He's got his second basket of the night. Boy, that makes them four out of five. That is one way to start the game. This playoff push is definitely G these guys up. Russell against Peyton. Russell kicks to Booker to the wing on the left. They set the screen. Here's Lynn. Oh, Jordan still can't the pass hit. to Lynn. Looking to end the run. And Russell with the basket ah, on the assist by Lynn. Couldn't get that Lynn. rebound. Damn wow, it. They finally get it to go down on their fourth try. Russell against Peyton. Pass to Isaac. Trying to find Vucevic. Oh. Gets it to him. No, and stolen sake. by Russell. Pass it to the wrong person. Lynn and then tried to pass to, to the right person. Over Peyton. Yes. Oh, what? A beautiful Fuck, reverse come on, layout. guys. But how about the persistence this from offensive Hollis rebound Jefferson? Shit, he's keeping that. possessions alive with his activity. To the rim, and AG with the, dunk. with the dunk. Oh, oh inflicting some punishment with it's the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. <laughs> Russell nope. kicks to Lynn. Back to Russell. Jordan sets the pick for Russell. From deep. No, Again, wait. Russell Every missing. Time. He's obviously still trying to find the range. No success this quarter. You wonder what it would take to get him to pass the ball. Now here's Peyton. Feeds it to Vucevic. He dishes it to Fournier. Back to Vucevic. For three. From way downtown. Oh, yes, and the rebound. That's the why Isaac is a starter right there. Here's Isaac. Come on, hit that one. No good from Isaac. Just short. Nets trail by eight. Hey, Greg, Spoke when you look at all soon. the dunks that DeAndre Jordan has on his resume, <laughs> it's yes. pretty impressive. And Jordan, I feel, is even underrated with his dunking ah, that ability. Was Very agile. Oh, we got you the... can see that in warm-ups. Come on, hit that. As well as the dunk Come contest. On. Yes. His unmatched Again, up by 10. Attacking the rim, really Definitely getting these second chance he points in. He may be the best athlete. Getting in quite the lucky with these the first time offensive rebounds and whatnot. For Brooklyn. 
Doris, we know coaches need to win to keep their jobs. However, they need great players to win, which falls on the shoulders of a general manager. So why are more coaches so fired bench team for on now. poor team performance than GMs, you think? You know, I think what's oh. fascinating to me, and this is a supposition oh, I've heard other broadcasters talk about, which I believe should uh, be instant. yeah. Instead it's of Batesy just gets his first bucket the of the night up by 12 now. Broadcast, why don't we include like the record this. of the GM? Because the coaches are not ultimately responsible unless they're responsible for both jobs, which we do see on occasion. But to me, the general manager has a significant role to the win-loss record, and both should be included. And maybe when the owner says, hey, I'll pick the coach, it doesn't affect you. But if you pick the coach, oh, you're if, tied with that coach. You're, as you're if that was not head. a steal. Great Man, point. my hand Great went right point. through the ball. Wow, hats off to him for making that one. You can't find a much tougher shot than that. Here's Mac. Mac to the rim. Come on. Terrific Easy, design right on the pick play. And he lays it in. Max got his first basket of the night. That is the and definition of a double pick and really roll. Work the ball inside. They get a hand oh, on yes. That's out of bounds. Brooklyn will retain possession. Reset. 40 seconds to go in the fourth. Uh, first. 12 point lead. Far out. This game has started perfectly. 40 seconds Can't left to play in the first. It's stolen by Matt. Oh, another steal. She will just hold now on to here's this for a while. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. The dish to Biombo. He kicks it to Mac. This one for three. Hit that one. Oh, right come on. with the rebound. Wide open. Should be hitting that one. And Jonathan Simmons gets the ah. whistle that time. I think TJ Augustine or DJ Augustine is injured. So we got Peyton starting today and uh, who is it? Mac as their replacement point guard. Here's Whitehead. Pass to Dinwiddie. Beyond the arc. Zeller. And uh, oh, he hits uh, the uh, Domination in the first quarter. It's been pretty lopsided. Can you count it? Magic out in front, leading by that 10. Cool bullshit. <laughs> Let's take a quick break he now, was... and then it's on to the second quarter. Second this. chance bullshit. <laughs> and one of our game's most explosive dunkers, DeAndre, DeAndre Jordan. Jordan. 20 feet in the air, it's like you're... And for a guy yeah, like uh, DeAndre, yeah, yeah. And, and a guy of DeAndre's size, guys, it's hard to believe how fluid he is in the air. He's got some body torque in, into those jams, and just all around, he seems to improve his oh, game. Oh, another steal! Come on, Simmons. Welcome oh, back, everyone, to the to second to quarter of play here on Noche Latina. Vamanos. And when you consider how the Magic are doing, what do you think? You're a step. I think they play great D and, and not giving up anything easy okay, early that was a on. Bit ridiculous. You love that they're <laughs> making the offense work, right? Making every single thing they try to do hard. Aaron Gordon out there with Maurice Spates. Then it's Simmons. Then it's Shelvin Mack. And it's Biombo at the five spot. That's the group start the second quarter for the Magic. Jordan with a screen on Simmons. Here's Whitehead. He's had some nope. playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Jordan, the screen. Shoots off the screen. Oh, no way. No good off yes. the front iron. Magic leading by 10. And, and since the White Howard back in 2012, the rebound yes. effort just has languished here in Orlando. Unable that really to draft any superstar talent. And last season, trades for veteran there, yes. talent didn't really move the needle either. For Orlando, they have made their only other free throw attempt today in an earlier trip to the line. Gordon hits Very both nice. of them. Three for three. Greg, when you look at the Magic, do you Again, see a 12. plan or a roadmap here? Well, you, you, you look at this that gap. trade we can for hold this gap, then we get to going dictate into the last game. season. And that was probably a sign that ownership uh, was growing impatient. Uh, they wanted to cash in their chips and, and really go for it. And now they might need a rebuild from that rebuild. Wow. <laughs> You're right. Good three. Yeah, the D was on him there, but he still managed to knock it down. Nice to be able to make a contested jumper. And Matt kicks to Gordon. Oh. 
and he converts the left. Oh, wow. Gordon's got eight points. Aaron Gordon is on fire to tonight. With consistency. That should Five never have gone in. in a row from the paint. Timeout called the Nets. Last time they met was in Brooklyn. And, and in the last face-off against these guys, they enjoyed a huge advantage in free throw percentage. And Orlando making a change here. Fournier is checked in. And a switch here for Brooklyn. Trevor Booker, he's checked in now for DeAndre Jordan. That's tipped. Oh, and blocks. he's able to get it back. Dishes it to Cram. Uh, and again, no yes. good by Brooklyn. Oh, 48 finish, wide open. Hammers it on the power of the break. And I'm a good 13 now. There of why it's important to change ends quickly. Well, that's how you attack in transition. Remarkable effort, getting as high percentage a look as you can really get. Here's Dinwiddie. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Shot clock at six. Whitehead passes to Booker. Fires it up. Then when he shows yes. off, Magic leading by 13. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Orlando moving the ball around. Now here's Fournier. He's guarded by Cram. Come on, Max, Man, hit something no for once. Nets trail by 13. Dora, so often we talk about high basketball IQ. Ah. Is that something you can learn, or do you have to be born with something like that? I think it's probably a little bit of both, but if you look at someone like LeBron James, whose basketball IQ may be the highest we've ever seen, I think he's a guy whose basketball knowledge is ah, always yeah, expanding. And I think if you love the game, you're constantly taking in information. So probably a little bit of both. So you've always got to be curious, right? Even if you're at the top of the game like LeBron or you're Yourself. Right, LeBron is just, he's constantly taking in sources of information. Oh, big block from space. In terms of film watching and preparation. Oh, Simmons just really drill it. To be able to watch yes. that guy work. And I know that's how you prepare as a broadcaster now. I'd like to, uh, I'd like to tag along sometime ah. and watch you prepare for a game. That'd be a lot of fun. That'd be a blast. The Magic shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. Right, Orlando one. making some changes. Vucevic checked in for Biombo. Isaac mm. comes in for Maurice Spates. And it's Alfred Payton in for Matt. Oh, another block. And, and that long wingspan yeah, of Isaac it. aids him oh, there in turning in the away today. shots. But it's also the timing he displays when he attacks the shooter. Now here's Payton. Pass to Vucevic. Fournier against Land. Fournier dishes to Peyton. Uh, all right, that wasn't me. Missed time that one. That was my fault. That's <coughs> trail by 12. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Outside, Russell. Kicks to Zeller. Booker outside. Now the pass to Lynn. He tries for three. Oh, another block. And now Orlando on the break. Now Fournier. He's got five. Peyton kicks to Vucevic. There's a good screen. Peyton with the ball. He's picked up by Russell. Uh, but he stays with yes. it. Yes. Back wow, to Vucevic. Right there. Vucevic setting the pick for Peyton. He feeds it to Vucevic to the inside. And oh, that one goes on. out of bounds. Oh, come nice on, Simmons. Simmons. I think you know Wake you look up, back some of the point guards Time who have out. become Time head out. coaches in the NBA. Sorry. Kenny Atkinson of the Nets, one of those guys, led the University of Richmond to the Sweet 16 back in 1988. And Orlando making a change here. Gordon's checked in. And a switch here for Brooklyn. Jordan's checked in. Nets trail by 12. 111 left to play here nah, in the second on, quarter. And Alfred Payton wake up, the wake foul. Up, wake up, wake up. That is his first foul of the game. One ten left in the first half. There's Hollis Jefferson. And guys, it really looks like they've lost a step yeah, here Jefferson. in the second quarter. They, they have been really stagnant offensively. Fournier against Lynn. 
And here's Fournier. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. Just four to shoot. Hit that. that one from yes, Isaac. And Coach Atkinson never played in the NBA, but a long professional playing career. Well, he played for over a decade in Europe. And certainly, Kev, there's more than one way to ah, succeed in basketball. An and now he's gaining a reputation as being a solid NBA coach early in his career. I can't wait to see what's next. Vucevic uh. the pass to Gordon. Isaac, seven second difference, shot and game clock. Back to Peyton. Fournier dishes to Vucevic. No, wrong person. Here's Isaac. Back to Vucevic. Come on, hit that. Pull the Come shot on, Vuce. Yes. Up, but the bounce goes his way. Vucevic has got yeah, we got everything going our way today. I just Isaac hope he stays this way. For a big man. He can oh. see over defenders easily just thanks to that size. blatant steal all time. <laughs> or tip. Don't get it, unfortunately. Three seconds on the clock. There's Lynn with the three. A shot, no good. And so it's the Orlando Magic. Riding All right, half time. 15 point lead. Thanks so much, David. Couldn't have asked we'll for a better first briefly, half. But get you right back out here for this. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. The first half in the books. This is Ernie Johnson. This is Orlando had no problems getting going. A smoldering performance for them early as they shut down everything defensively and we're clicking on offense, going 10 nothing to start. Looking at the That'll do it for now. And as we begin the second half, first half wasn't even close, guys, and we'll see if there is a comeback on our... Nets trail by 15. And the Nets adding their own G League affiliate, the Long Island Nets. Yeah, and the Nets franchise originally, remember, based in Come on, Long you can't Island, leave so Lynn nice wide open. Wow. Homecoming. Surprised Lynn didn't hit that. Young talent development, so critical for this Nets organization. Having that minor league team in close proximity, very valuable. And Brooklyn, look at who they've got. D'Angelo Russell out there with Jeremy Lynn. Then there's Trevor Booker. Then it's Jordan. And it's Hollis Jefferson in the Ah, come on, I meant to pass wow, it. fantastic to see Hollis Jefferson hit it twice oh, on what the are you pipes. Doing? Extends out Bruh. and sends it back. <laughs> well, I like that he shows no scripted. hesitation there. Boy, when he's alone in the open court, he just attacks, right? I mean, turning on the Jets and finishing easily at the rim. And out of bounds oh my God. Games possession. It's supposed to go to Gordon, now not to we have a second, let's take Jesus a quick peek Christ. at the rebounding numbers for the last handful of seasons for Jordan. Ugh. It's a concerning trend for him. Uh, whether he's lost some strength or, or just isn't putting in as much effort on the glass as he used to, he's not rebounding nearly as effectively anymore. And that's something that needs to change. Here's Booker. Again, the uh. miss by Booker. An obvious blunder by the defense that they get away with. Somebody's supposed to be checking him. Gordon kicks to Peyton. Pass to Vucevic. Feeds it to Fournier. Here's Isaac, defended by Lynn. Clock is at three. And he makes no oh, mistake on the disgraceful. slam dunk. And you gotta keep Isaac out of the paint. He's looking to dunk it whenever and wherever he gets it. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. There was so much talk about offense. How do you slow some of these guys down defensively? I mean, one way is to draw charges, but in thinking of that, who do you think is the best at doing that these days? Come you on, know, take Kevin, the charge. It can be a lost art in the game of basketball on any number of levels. You have to be willing to absorb contact, and sometimes from guys much come bigger on, than yourself. Stay with him. So some of the names that come to mind for me, Marcus Smart with the Boston Celtics, Kemba uh, Walker, always the smallest fuck. guy on the floor, is never afraid to give up his body. From the big guys, I'd probably say Maurice Spates or DeMarcus Cousins. Both are willing to see that contact contact and uh, try to gain an advantage going the other direction. Oh, they know they're going to yeah. take a hit and they willingly I swear I thought that was the be betterment of the team. Right. Well, I don't like their energy level since the break, right? They've missed three of their first four shots. Here's Crab. Doesn't get, get it to that. drop yes. for him. 
The Magic nice. go the other the way with it. Dunk that shit. Match up with the Suns, oh, a, a tough it. loss there. And they had to be sensational defensively on that night to compensate for the fact that they ah. just couldn't find a rhythm offensively. Nine, 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 nine. I'm trying to find some sort of rhythm on the offensive end, but the more they forced it, the less effective it was. Here's what Orlando's oh, going bullshit. with right now. Spates on, checked in for Gordon. Simmons comes in for Evan Fournier. And Shelvin Max subbed in for Peyton. Then for the Nets, Zeller comes in for Rondé Hollis Jefferson. And nice. it's Whitehead in for Russell. Biambo, he's checked in for Orlando. Here's Mack. Biambo with no, it. No, 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 no. He's picked up by Jordan. Here's Isaac. He's got five. He dishes it to Mack. Goes up on the high post, that. and that one comes Fuck. up a bit short. Cannot get any opening there. I was trying every sort of skill move in the book. The <laughs> or dribble move, or whatever you guys call it in the NBA. Jordan the screen. Here's Dinwiddie. He's covered by Mack. Got a hand on it, so it looks like the Nets will retain possession here. It's the Nets now. Oh, come on. They've only allowed two points so far Fuck. here in the second half. Offensive rebound. Wow. And I thought they really that cannot was hit drop. anything it today, Brooklyn. Good from here. Outside, Simmons. Get off me. To the wing right side. Pass to Isaac. Three pointer. Yes, Boom. Isaac. And a nice assist from Matt. Boom. Isaac's got five points now this quarter. Assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball move. Whitehead passes to Zeller. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. Outside for Jordan. Here's Dinwiddie. He's covered by Matt. And stolen by Yes. Diablo. And up the court comes the magic Come on, on the Isaac, hit this. Isaac with the ball. And, and so one oh. trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. And the overall skill set that Isaac possesses really ah. off the charts. A, a big man who can run the floor, but also with that wingspan can oh, defend God, the rim. Big man checked in for Matt. One fifty-seven left in the third quarter. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Picked Up by, by sixteen Zeller. now. This is going to be a slaughter if it keeps moving on floor There's like Whitehead. this. Makes oh, it off the glass. Bullshit. And that's right where they <laughs> wanted to go with my the defenders. ball in rhythm. Magic leading by 14. Out to the wing. Uh. Peyton dishes to Biombo. Back to Peyton. There's the three. Get that Peyton. Oh Rebound, my Brooklyn. Well, you, you see the he's struggles so used he's to having. The perimeter, getting that guy. anything to go. Yeah, I mean, he's obviously cold yes. right now, but he's trying to find that rhythm. You've got to keep working. Spates kicks to Simmons. 109 nice. left to play in the third. God damn it. Peyton with the ball. Six to shoot. Peyton to the rim. Uses the glass yes. to finish the layup. Peyton's got six. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. Dinwiddie passes to Jordan. Shoots over Biombo. No good on the shot yes, a bit long that time. Today. You, you almost have to assume on, he's going that. to knock those down uh, when he is that fuck. open. Well, on, despite Isaac. his struggles from the field in this period, you know he's going to keep asking for the basketball. Picked yes, away. gets the five seconds separating steal. the shot and game clocks. Oh, get a shot missing. That. Oh, Good D by Jordan. Yeah, that and was impressive the feed to by Jordan. And the Nets yeah, miss again. Still hit. Well, this is a tough night so far. They'd be smart to rely more on a couple of their other options. Nice. Out to Peyton. There's the dish to Simmons. Back to Peyton. Got it up. He got it up that nah. time, but it wouldn't fall for no him. No bueno. And so All right. Orlando. Moving into the in final quarter with a 16-point lead, lead. Is the buzzer sound. This has been a an look awesome at the field goal percentage to numbers. NBA 2K18. Tells the story of what tough defense they're playing today. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And meanwhile, Frank Vogel talking to his team. 
Our closer is our temple. It's up. Welcome back as we get ready to start the fourth quarter. Not exactly a nail biter here, but we you actually never haven't know. scored all that much. Peyton it's just the Nets have been the absolutely the awful tonight. It'll be interesting to see what their and it's Vucevic percentages the are after the game. The middle. So that's the lineup oh. on the floor for the Magic. Oh, pick it out! Oh my God! And Alfred Payton with the foul. And God, he had one job, Spanky. So Come on, man. <laughs> now here's Lynn. Jeremy Topnotlin. It's all yes. in by the Magic. Vucevic has got rebound number eight now on the night. Oh, and, he was and up. Two not one. <laughs> I him. thought that was like, it was like George inside the college, bucket. You but. earned a master's in education. How close were you to pursuing that path versus veering into becoming an analyst for basketball? Yeah, you know, to be honest with you, I always felt like I would be a high school teacher and a basketball coach. Yes. And someday maybe I'll coach a boys high school basketball team. Very close, Kevin. I happened into broadcasting. I left coaching at Providence College. They put their women's basketball games on radio, and that was my entree into ah. the business. And slowly but surely, it grew every year. But still educating, still, right? I mean, don't you feel there's there's a part of education to being an analyst? Oh, there's no question about it. You are trying to help that viewer to be as close to the action as we are fortunate enough to Get be. That and sure, just describing what's going on. It's a lot of fun. You are a PhD in broadcasting. <laughs> Russell dishes to Jordan. And Booker kicks to Russell. Booker is screen on Peyton. Lynn from long range. Just can't find a shot. Yes. It's no wonder they're losing. I mean, he's been completely scoreless all night. Vucevic the pass to Spates. Peyton kicks to Fournier. Peyton with the screen for Fournier. Back to Peyton. Five to shoot. And it's blocked ah, by Jordan. Pass it just, and and the one douche. thing we know about DeAndre, he's a presence at both ends of the floor. Nice. He protects the rim on D just as much as he punishes it at the offensive end. Back to Fournier. No, and what stolen are you by doing? Jordan. <sighs> Here's Hollis Jefferson, and he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. And the foul goes against Orlando. Boy, you've got to love seeing Hollis Jefferson sprint to the cup. What an explosive finisher who forces the defense to get physical. And Rondé Hollis Jefferson able to defend one through four. Doris, where do you think he's most effective as a defender? Well, Kevin, with his length and his quickness, he can really bother guards that are smaller than he is, which most often is going to be the case. Jonathan Simmons has checked in for Maurice Spates. He's perfect from the line this time. One of the things you have to love, Kevin, about Hollis Jefferson is his energy. You know he's going to give you everything he's got on a night-by-night -night basis. Here's Vucevic. That's in, coming off an assist. From yes, Vuce. I really want to get a 20-point win. If I can get a 20-point 20, 20 win. Not a lot of resistance Pretty on the inside, and that they're one. taking full advantage. Booker with the screen for Jordan. Fournier against Land. And good that time. Damn. Almost got the block. Magic leading by 16. Peyton dishes to Vucevic. Back to Peyton. Nice spin move. It oh, go bullshit. Good D by Booker. That should have been in. You know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really off. Fuck. And you love how Russell keeps his eyes up, rarely misses a guy when he's free. Jordan, the pass to Peyton. He kicks it to Vucevic. Vuce. And he makes that one. Very nice. Vucevic has got four points now. Four points. Court. Awesome I'm assist. Sorry, by that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. To the left wing. Lynn kicks to Jordan. Releases. Lynn's shot is off. Well, you just wonder if maybe he should take it inside when they're playing so far off him. Picked by Vucevic. Shot by Gordon. Yes. Wide open. 
Buries it from three-point range. Three. And the Magic lead by 18. And he can smell blood in the water. Excellent finish. I tell you, you've got to admire the energy. This guy really wants to put this one away. And now we present our Jordan player of the game. And the way he's made his wow. mark. Jonathan Isaac, work player inside. of the game. There could have been a lot of different players of the game today, but I probably would have picked Aaron Gordon. But... At will. Uh -huh. And just seemingly taking advantage of a D that was reluctant to get in his way. He'd finally had enough of their losing streak, and it's going to take something special to regain some kind of momentum. And his effort has been very special tonight. And the Magic making a change here. Isaac's checked in. Here's Booker. The 10 footer finds ah. the target. Well, Trevor Booker, you love to see this guy. So we are actually on quite a bit of a losing streak, but that's because this I've uh, been unable to play now. this game. So I've been simulating sort of these Peyton last few games. In. Here's Isaac, Peyton outside. Outside, Simmons, lock at six. Here's Vucevic, rebound, oh, Brooklyn. It's a bit asking a lot for Vuce to pull so far <laughs> the reverse the layup. Passes it to win. We've got 148 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Again, oh, the next wow. for two. That's impressive. Now you have to enjoy watching Jeremy Lin work the pick and roll. This guy totally loses the defense with his quick decision making. And oh, plenty of contact on the shot. So two free throws coming up. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. That's good from Isaac. And that's good as he hits nice. both of his shots. Nets trail by 16. Russell dishes to Lynn. Back to Russell. Pass to Lynn. And so he earns a trip to the line. Official saw the contact and he'll shoot too. Well, it seems like it's been a while since the breakthrough of Lin's sanity, but Jeremy Lin is still breaking down walls for Asian and Asian American athletes. This guy has shattered stereotypes totally and inspired about many to follow in his path. He's off on the second. Oh, he missed it as well. And Doris, Jeremy Lin has been honest. In the past, he says that some have doubted him. And I think that's always been the case yes. for Jeremy Lin. Go back to his high school days. For Palo Alto uh, okay, High School, maybe Isaac is the player of the game. California State title. He's first team All State, and yet he did not have a ton of Division I scholarship offers. It's surprising when you think about the level of competition he faced as a young basketball player. There's a good screen. Six on the shot clock. Here's Russell. Rebounded nice. by Isaac. Orlando, they've gone four of eight in this fourth quarter, shooting at even 50% from the field. And this is what they wanted. I mean, to announce their presence in this matchup with authority. Very decisive. It can definitely be considered a statement win for the Magic. In the end, they had a better shooting percentage, and that's what made the difference. Sometimes, you know, things go your way. The other team wasn't catching oh, the lucky yes, breaks they themselves. It. Yeah, and, and Kevin, not all about luck. I thought their overall shot selection was better. And this will make it 36 wins on the year for them. And this victory will draw them even in the season series as it comes to a close. Peyton in the corner. Fires the Come three. On, Peyton, please they hit get something. It again. Oh. Kicks it out to Gordon. From outside the arc. Gordon hit it. Oh. Goes up Try again. again. And the shot goes. Oh, in. finally. Oh, that was a two. And the Magic lead by 19. <laughs> and given the fans God, that took they about came second to chance see points. A, a spirited performance. Yeah, it really was. Uh, they wanted this oh, home badly, shit. and they went out and took it. First free throw is good. Yeah, not many guys entering the league impact their teams this fast. Russell is an exception. It counts. Oh, what? Are you shitting me? They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far. Today. Oh my and god, we just had a full, well, almost a full court it's shot on the buzzer. It's a great <laughs> Not that we needed it, but. When you play oh, damn! A perfect game. <laughs> Shit! And to have that crowd Mac didn't do so anything the entire up. game and then goes and, and hits that. <laughs> Look, he's the only one celebrating. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, Dave.
Thanks, Kevin. Alfred, first off, congrats on the win. What was the key to getting this one? Oh, man, we made shots. Uh, we did a good job of, you know, just getting to the rim. Big effort tonight, Alfred. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Alder, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. See you later. All right, well, there you have it. An absolute annihilation of the Nets. I did not see that one coming, but I think I'm definitely going to have to up the difficulty after this one. I don't know if there's been an update since the last game we played. It has been a while, but that was quite a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. All right, Gordon with 15 points. Isaac, 13. Rebounds, 12 rebounds for Vooch. Four assists for Peyton. Two steals for Biombo. We had, wow, look at that, six steals in total. Three blocks for Isaac. 24 turnovers, field goals made, 5 out of 6 for Aaron Gordon. Once again, Peyton with 3 for 13. Uh, 2 for 3 from Isaac, 0 for 5 from Peyton. 4 for 4, free throws from Gordon, that's an awesome night. Offensive rebounds, just the 5, well, actually 5 offensive rebounds. That's what gave us the win in the end, in my opinion. Four fouls, plus minus 15 for Peyton and Isaac. All right. That's why we have Peyton on the floor. He's just such a good passer of the ball. He can really make some incredible assists. All right, so 43%. So again, our, our field goal percentage and three-point percentage wasn't all that great. It's just... The nets were absolutely horrible. Eighteen percent on free throw on three pointers and thirty one percent from the uh, well field goal percentage. Nine fast break points, twenty six points in the paint, nine second chance points. I said, look at that, thirteen offensive rebounds and twenty seven defensive rebounds. Six steals, six blocks. And we managed to lead by 21 in the end. So that is a huge win. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned as we continue this push to the playoffs. Or push for the playoffs, I should say. But until next time, I will catch you guys.